Well, I'm seeing very similar to what a lot of you guys are seeing out there. It's the worst I've seen in quite a while at the stores. We're going to be walking through what Walmart and Sam's Club and Aldi look like here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We're seeing shortages a lot of places, a lot of uh, gaps all across the place, a lot of empty refrigerated bunkers and freezer bunkers. Uh, we're they're, they're just not stocking things properly, and that is very concerning. We're going to jump right into the pictures, and you're going to see it for yourself. Let's go. We start off at Sam's Club. Um, one of the things I was really seeing there was it, it was very hit or miss. Uh, so you can see here's a big stack of jasmine rice and a big stack of pinto beans. But what I wasn't seeing was plain rice. Didn't see any big bags of plain rice. Uh, they did have flour, but it was just like certain things were just missing. And as I was walking past these piles, one of the things that I, I noticed was uh, there was a couple and, and uh, the lady was saying to the husband or the guy that, uh, hey, we should really get some beans. <laughs> And uh, I'm not sure exactly what that was in relation to or whatever, but uh, whether they were talking about canned beans or something else like that. Um, but definitely, um, I think people's perspective on stocking up is definitely changing out there. Um, and so Sam's Club was kind of hit or miss. I mean, they sometimes are like that uh, on different things. They're not as dependable as places like Walmart and Aldi and that kind of thing. But uh, all right, so over at Walmart, just the frozen food section was just definitely not as fully stocked. Uh, there was a bunch of products that were kind of missing or very low. Other products were fully stocked. So it's kind of like, um, why were certain ones not being restocked as quickly? Uh, what's the difference between those two? Frozen pizzas were kind of low. Whip topping, of course, again, just We've been having issues with that. I know we've been having issues with a lot of dairy things and everything like that, but uh, uh, self, you know, individual meals, just the frozen food in general, just kind of, you know, plenty of one thing and then just not much at all of something else. So that was just kind of across the board there. All right, so frozen uh, potatoes, definitely seeing an issue there, frozen potatoes. Uh, there's a bunch of products that are just out there, certain, uh, certain varieties, I mean, but you can get other varieties. So, and this is about, this is right around five o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, they should have been restocked for the, uh, the evening rush or whatever, but uh, Definitely not seeing that. They were out there stocking a little bit, but uh, um, a much more stocking activity over at Aldi. Teas, we, we've been seeing a lot of issues with tea here and there. Um, not as much as with coffee, but, uh, but definitely with tea. Apple sauces have been having some issues. Uh, there was that whole applesauce, applesauce pouch uh, issue with lead down in Ecuador that, uh, you know, were imported into the U.S., um, but I don't think that should be really impacting uh, other apple sauces because it was just those pouches that were recalled. Coffee, uh, some, some of it fronted, um, but plenty there for now at least. We'll keep an eye on it, but uh, we did have some really bad harvests in the last year or so of coffee. Uh, in certain places, particularly over like in Vietnam and uh, and Brazil, but uh, we shouldn't be seeing too too much just immediately. Uh, but uh, um, that will effectively effectively work its way out for sure. Um, we have vinegar issues, but um, today they, it didn't look too bad. Um, we've been having we've been having vinegar issues for quite a while, and a lot of that is on the industrial side. They're, uh, they're stealing uh, food grade stuff because the industrial side is, uh, doesn't have enough vinegar, uh, basically for industrial applications. Uh, so we're seeing pickles and olives. Olives are a whole nother thing, of course, because of the harvest over in Europe. Uh, but uh, seeing here, not much 20, you know, one 20 pound bag of rice there. Uh, lots of pinto beans, but uh, a lot of the other great value brand rice uh, it's an eight pound bag or five pound bag in there. Um, there's one in the back, but uh, not much, not much plain rice 
And we are having rice issues out there, of course. We do want to thank our sponsor, Chances Gold Group. If you uh, reach out to them, make sure you do mention this channel. That way you, they do waive the setup fees. Uh, that's, a, that's a big perk with them. But uh, that's the contact info, and there will be a link at the end of the video as well. You guys, uh, you guys say nothing but good things about them. Every one of you have contacted them. I've only heard good things. So that's, uh, that's definitely a good thing. Uh, barbecue sauces, some gaps there for sure, and then ketchup sauces. And then I, I don't even know what this is about. <laughs> that's not ketchup back there. Somebody just like shoved a bunch of non-ketchup things back in the back of that, that row. Um, but um, ketchup a little less stocked than uh, what we'd anticipate. The chili corned beef hash, a little bit light. But then this is where um, the tuna, so the non-name brand tuna fish was kind of picked over. There's some more in the back there you can see. But then in the meat section here, notice the corned beef hash up at the top level. There's a bunch of that, but then you just see there's empty gaps around it. And then uh, some of the, the canned chicken on that third shelf. Just uh, looking a little light there. If you look a little closely, like spam, look at the fronted two packs. There's like three two packs fronted along the front there with nothing behind them. The spam's all pulled to the front. So definitely some canned um, meats issue. We'll see if that, that's uh, just a temporary hiccup here or uh, if you guys are seeing that same kind of thing where you are, let us know. Of course, uh, you can leave uh, updates by just using the word update and any comment on any video on this channel that gets it to the right place and give us some sort of geographical context there too, please, or else it's not necessarily very useful. Soy sauce, definitely low in some of the Asian kind of st stuff here, but uh, Walmart doesn't usually look like that, at least not this one. Uh, stovetop stuffing looked like somebody just came through and ransacked the place. Uh, a bunch of the mashed potatoes, especially the name brand stuff. Uh, haven't seen it look like that for a while. Uh, canned beans. Canned beans were low. I don't know if a whole bunch of people got in their heads to go get canned beans. But, uh, you know, I, I keep saying about the beans is that uh, you can get the pinto beans in the bag that are dry, but the amount of energy that's going to take to cook those beans, it's really an investment when you get the can of beans that's already cooked that you just need to warm up or you can even eat them cold if you want. Um, I recommend heating them up just for taste purposes. Uh, but, uh, but the amount of energy that has gone into cooking those beans when you buy the canned beans uh, is often worth it just because you don't have to store the fuel anymore. But uh, if you have access to wood uh, for your wood firing and for, for cooking, uh, then it's not that big of a deal, but canned beans, especially if you're in suburbs and stuff like that, will allow you to, to just warm up stuff as opposed to having to cook things for hours uh, over a fire when you might have limited fuel. Uh, canned vegetables were, were kind of low. Those are canned green beans. They're a little fuzzy. Sorry about that. Uh, the uh, salad dressings, definitely lower than what we're normally seeing just a lot less. And also you'll see that the, a lot of them have gaps in the back behind them. That means that, uh, that they didn't fully restock it last time. Spaghetti sauces, low, especially the generic. Generic spaghetti sauces are the first to disappear these days. This is the broth, chicken broth and beef broth. Uh, beef broth, we're having a real big issue. Chicken broth, somewhat of an issue. It looks like people are uh, looking for the beef broth, and then when they don't find it, they're then grabbing the chicken broth instead. And so we're seeing kind of the chicken broth kind of uh, being substituted for the beef broth, and so we're seeing shortages of both of them now. But then um, just a lot of the canned soups and everything like that were just, they're pretty hard hit. I think it's just because so many people are sick with the flu and uh, other respiratory things that we're not supposed to talk about. Um, those uh, a lot of people are sick. 
and they're not feeling good and they want some canned soup. We're also seeing the, um, the over-the-counter medications like cough syrup and cough drops and all that kind of stuff like that just wiped out. Um, that's, uh, I should have gotten some pictures over there. Uh, pasta actually looked fairly good, but they definitely moved around the different things in order to make it look fuller than what they normally are. Um, the, the garden rutini is not in the right place. Uh, the rotini is not in the right place. Uh, they pushed that down because I think the, those have been disappearing pretty fast. And they're putting up bow ties up on uh, eye level, which is not normally where the bow ties are. I, I just I just kind of been here enough that I've, I can see that they've moved things around. And I wonder if that's just to kind of keep things on the shelf a little better. Uh, the egg noodles, however, were a lot more devastated, not and I think maybe the, the key there is the, the word egg in there. That's, that, that might be it. Because, you know, as much as you wish the store-bought pasta, the regular pastas, had egg in them, uh, most of them do not. So they're just they're wheat and, and some compounds to hold it all together. But uh, with regard to spaghetti, uh, with other tomato sauces, once again, pretty light in a lot of varieties. Seasonings, a little bit low. Salt actually uh, was pretty good. Actually, let me, this next one there. Salt was pretty good. Plain salt, iodized salt. There's a bunch of them in there. So, uh, and uh, name and generic. So, olive oils, we are seeing olive oils being more and more impacted and probably due to the bad, the, the second bad harvest in Europe. Back-to-back uh, -back bad olive harvests uh, is really taking its uh, toll on the olive oil out there. And it seems like the Europeans are trying to keep as much of their olive oil as they, uh, as they can. What you're probably going to see is more and more of the olive oil that's on your shelves are either going to be really expensive or they're going to be the, the blends that have as little olive oil in them as possible. So be careful out there um, price-wise and also just trying to figure out how much actual olive oil is in your olive oil. Other cooking oils, seems like people are uh, shifting over, but vegetable oils, there's only one gallon there of vegetable oil. Actually, there's another one down uh, on the bottom shelf, but uh, a little light on the vegetable oils. Uh, you can see some of the canola oil is fronted. That's um, not good out there. That's That should be a basic staple that they can keep on the shelf, but they they're not doing a good job at that. That's uh, pointing to some problems. Cake mixes. Uh, we haven't had too much issues with oats recently, uh, quick oats and rolled oats and all that jazz, but uh, uh, it was looking pretty thin here. I don't know if people are grabbing that stuff because they're sick there too or, or what's going on with that but I did notice that uh, Aldi wasn't quite so bad but uh, then again um, yeah half a fair number of these are uh, are busted open that's that's kind of concerning uh, some of the cereals were having issues too some of the cereals were wiped out um, different different brands and varieties but then other ones were just fine so uh, eggs here were two dollars and thirteen cents I didn't think to to grab a picture of the uh, eggs over at Aldi, what their price was. But there were plenty of eggs here. So there are plenty of great value eggs as well as uh, other varieties and such. Um, but we did not see nearly as much with the, uh, the cookie section and the, the, the pastries and stuff like that. I, I know they have a lot of eggs in them. But uh, dairy was a little, little light, but um, not terrible on any one given point. Uh, but they did push all the dips up to the top shelf, which I thought was a little unusual. And then uh, cream cheeses. Uh, cream cheese has still been thin, even after uh, holidays are over. Uh, block cream cheeses. You can still find them, but uh, everywhere we go, it seems to be that they're, they're pretty light on cream cheese. Heavy creams. Uh, definitely not looking good here at Walmart. Uh, there's still eggnog on the shelf. <laughs> You know, it's not that old, right? Uh, but uh, heavy creams, coffee creamers, a lot of these things just um, pretty pretty light and scarce there, pretty picked over. A lot of spotty stuff, so if you really like your creamer and your coffee, grab it when you find it, right? Uh, butter, 
butter was uh, quite low. So, I mean, there's plenty of the, the parquet and the country crock fake butter. So if you want your margarine spreads, there's, there's a bunch of that, but not, not real butter. So um, that was kind of concerning. And then uh, this whole section of the dairy uh, was, uh, this is like specialty stuff, lactate and lactose stuff, lactose-free stuff. Um, but uh, the regular milk seemed to be fairly well stocked but just the specialty stuff. Lunch meats holding up fairly well. Um, we've, we've had patches where it was a lot worse, so I'm not seeing too much issues there. Looking at the rest of the hot dogs and stuff like that, they, they're a little light. Um, I would expect to see more there, especially in January, but uh, uh, definitely some issues there. A lot of the bunkers were, were kind of empty, and that was kind of concerning. Um, you know, nothing, nothing really super off, but just a lot of the bunkers just had very little in them. This is over at Aldi. Um, and across Aldi, they had in the fresh produce sections and the, the fruit and the vegetables, they had all these little red signs out of stock. It just, I guess they just didn't, they got tired of answering people's questions. Do you have any more of this in the back? Um, but uh, they didn't have any hot dog buns, which is a big inconvenience for me because I was going to have a hot dog lunch for, uh, for folks after church. And you can't have a hot dog lunch without hot dog buns, right? Um, I, uh, I, I was wondering if they might be out of them, and I was like, nah, Aldi will have them. And uh, they had hamburger buns, but they didn't have hot dog buns. That was just kind of annoying. Um, so switching over to spaghetti lunch <laughs> for after church. But um, whole milk, they just kind of out of whole milk. Um, drive the point home a little bit. Some of the creamers and uh, different uh, dairy things with vegetable oils, canola oil. They do have more in the back there. I couldn't see them when I was taking that picture. So uh, that's not quite as bad as it looked at first. It looked like it was all fronted, but, uh, but uh, definitely a little bit lighter because there's room for more back there, but they didn't put any more. Uh, butter looking a little bit better here, but I don't know. Maybe Walmart's just missing out or something. I don't know. S sour cream was pretty, pretty light. Just the dairy things in general, right? Salad dressings, certain salad dressings. They have plenty of ranch, but, uh, you know, Italian dressing and Thousand Island and some of the others. This is what I was talking about. All these, like, red signs out of stock. That's your lettuce, your celery. I don't know if they miss a truckload or what, but uh, that was definitely not good to see. I'm sorry. That was just kind of a... I just think it's... I think it's fascinating how Prime is just kind of... Pro crop, cropping up everywhere. Walmart's at it for quite a while, but now Aldi is carrying it too. Uh, if you're not familiar, uh, a YouTuber, I think Logan out there, a famous YouTuber, started a energy drink or, or like a, a Powerade or Gatorade kind of competitor. And basically it's just take, taking off all over the place. It's just interesting to see a YouTuber start a product that's that's just taking over um, but uh, uh, lentils I did not see this before lentils are 99 cents at least at my store per pound that's a really good price I if I had seen that I would have taken like all of them but <laughs> that's uh, uh, that's just something to see there uh, water packs uh, Sam's Club ha had restocked all of their bottles of water they just had um, Aisles loaded up with them. I always grab a pack of water there now since I'm trying to kick my fluoride, um, you know, so I can think a little more clearly, not brainwashed. Uh, but uh, the uh, bottled water around generally is looking pretty good, so I'm not sure why it disappeared briefly uh, last month. It just kind of off. Uh, beef was, uh, the fresh beef was noticeably low at Aldi, but... Uh, and that, that's a one-off for this point. You can kind of see my basket in the bottom left corner of that uh, with the, the spaghetti sauce. See, uh, my, my thought on spaghetti sauce is, <laughs> when you're in a hurry is you just dump spaghetti sauce from the store into a crock pot and you throw in some diced tomatoes, enough 
to uh, to make people think that you really tried with the spaghetti sauce. <laughs> it just adds some chunkiness to it. They're like, this isn't this isn't jarred spaghetti sauce because it's got chunks in it. But you can see the empty bunkers here. A bunch of empty bunkers, just not not using that space. Why, why not? That's the question. All right, friends, if you have updates that you'd like to share with us, uh, please do leave them down in the comments down below. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you want to get some more information about Genesis Gold Group, there's a link right on the screen. And if you want to check out another video from this channel, there's one uh, link on the screen as well. Thanks so much for watching. Steve Poplar of the Poplar Report, out.